Comparison is a method of finding the point where two straight lines cross without having to graph the straight lines. We can use algebra to find the point of intersection. In this example, I have 2y equals 3x plus 5 and 3y equals 8x minus 3, and I want to know the point of intersection. The first step of comparison is you pick one of the variables and you isolate it in both equations. Because the y is almost isolated already in both of these, I'm going to pick the y. If I divide both sides of this equation by 2, I get these cancel, and I get y equals 3x plus 5 over 2. If I do the same thing here, divide both sides of the equation by 3, these 3's cancel, and I get y equals 8x minus 3 over 3. The logic of comparison is that if y equals this, and y also equals that, then this must equal that. We are comparing the two equations by writing what y is equal to in one of the equations, 3x plus 5 over 2, and making it equal to what y is equal to in the other equation, 8x minus 3 over 3. Now, we have a single equation with only x's, and we can solve for x. Cross-multiplying, top times bottom equals bottom times top, I get 3 times 3x plus 5 equals 2 times 8x minus 3. 9x plus 15 equals 16x minus 6. Let's get all of the x's to the right and all of the constant terms to the left. So my 15 stays where it is, then the minus 6 moves to the other side and becomes plus 6. The 16x stays where it is, and the 9x moves to the other side and becomes minus 9x. I end up with 21 equals 7x Dividing both sides by 7, x is equal to 3. I have half of my answer. To find out what y is equal to, I'm going to plug x equals 3 into one of the original equations. I'll use equation 1, 2y equals 3x plus 5. I write the equation again. I replace x with 3. And I get 2y equals 9 plus 5. 2y equals 14. y is equal to 14 divided by 2, which is 7. Therefore, the point at which these two lines cross is x equals 3, y equals 7. This is how we use comparison. In this example, the first equation is similar to the ones in example 1. The y is almost isolated. So, if I divide both sides by 4, I will get these 4's cancel, y equals x plus 5 over 4. The second equation, there's a little bit more algebra that has to be done before I can get my y isolated. I'm going to move the minus 2x to the other side of the equals, and I'm going to get y equals 2x minus 25. And then, the y is already isolated. I don't have a number for the bottom for my cross multiplication. So I'm just going to express this as y equals 2x minus 25 over 1. Now I can cross multiply. Comparing what y is equal to in the first equation with what y is equal to in the second, I get x plus 5 over 4 equals 2x minus 25 over 1. Top times bottom equals bottom times top gives me 1 times x plus 5 equals 4 times 2x minus 25. I get x plus 5 equals 8x minus 100. If I move all the x's to the right and the numbers to the left, I will get 5 plus 100 equals 8x minus x, 105 equals 7x, and dividing both sides by 7, my x is isolated, 
and is equal to 15. Plugging x equals 15 into one of the original equations, I'm going to use equation 1. I have 4y equals x plus 5. If x is 15, then 4y equals 15 plus 5. 4y equals 20. Divide both sides by 4. y is isolated and is equal to 5. The solution for this comparison and the point of intersection of these two straight lines is going to be 15, 5.